2001. Here is yet another side of immigration controversy to go with your cheesesteak. A city councilman wants Joey Vento, who's the owner of Geno's in South Philly, to take down a sign telling the hungry to order in English. Joe said no. Now, if it's true that any publicity is good publicity, then what's bad is good at Geno's. CNA's Justin Gray is live in South Philadelphia tonight with an update on that. Justin. Well, Kevin, a lot's changed since we first brought you this story at the beginning of the week. This story is now making headlines nationwide, but a couple things they haven't changed. That sign is still in the window, and the folks at Geno's are still not backing down. On the Good Morning America this morning, just got done with the, the Fox News Channel, the National. And the interview requests keep on coming, and the Thank phones you. keep on ringing. Geno's. Oh, California? Texas? Oh, me? Okay. Columbus, Ohio. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. And just one week, Geno's Steaks has gone from local landmark to national newsmaker. It's a mess. There's crazy media ever. We didn't make anything of it, but everyone else is. It's all about this sign that's been sitting by the window for six months now. When ordering, speak English. If you come in and say, blah, 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 we don't understand you, you're going to get a whiz with onions. And that might not be what you want, so maybe the next time you'll figure out the cheese and order in English. Even some non-English speaking immigrants don't have a problem with that. We just know this and we just try to order in English. But City Councilman John Kenny doesn't like it and is asking for this side to come down. I always go to Geno's, but I, when I read that, I said, well, I'm not going to give them my business. Seattle, Washington, guy, you should be the President of the United States. I mean, that's an honor. So, you know, want me to take it down? No, I can't take it down now. A big debate over simply ordering a cheesesteak. Profound for, you know, lunch. But despite all the attention, the sign is staying put. The cheesesteaks taste just the same and the crowns keep on coming. I came here before the controversy. I'll come here after the controversy. <laughs> Joey Vento tells me if people would have come up to him at six months ago when he first put that sign in the window, he might have taken it down. But now he's received so much support, so many phone calls, so many emails. He says that sign is staying put for good. Reporting in South Philadelphia tonight, Justin Gray, CNA News. Hey, uh, Justin, I understand you like your uh, cheesesteak American wit. Did you, uh, did you have one tonight? I, I did have one, and yeah, no whiz for me. The American width is the way to go, and I, 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 that's, I need to get off the cheesesteak beat soon because I'm having too many cheesesteaks this week. You can't have enough cheesesteaks in one week. <laughs> All right, buddy. Thanks. I, Good job. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you like your cheesesteak? Well, I like the American wit as well. Uh, extra onions, though. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm an onion guy. Yeah, yeah. then you must smell yeah. really good. I like to. I like to be. I like <laughs> to be. Onions. I like to be one with the sandwich. Yes, you do. Yeah. That's fabulous. I think you are the sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to. You got to oh. become the sandwich. Yes, you do. All right, let's talk what about the weather. We